Hello, I'm Lieutenant David Gates, driver training instructor with Miami-Dade Fire Rescue. In today's video, we will be reviewing the set of procedures for utilizing a water jet adductor as well as tandem operations. A water jet adductor is an appliance that utilizes adductor principles and water pressure from the fire pump to draft from a static water source up to 200 feet away. This appliance is capable of generating water flows up to 670 gallons per minute. By using a tandem operation, you can double your flow capacity. The equipment needed for the operation, water jet adductor, up to 200 feet, 3 inch hose, up to 200 feet, 5 inch hose, a flotation device, and an optional rope bag. The line should be stretched from the truck to the water's edge, avoiding sharp bends and kinks. Before connecting hoses to the water jet adductor, inspect the unit to be sure no debris has entered the inlet or discharge openings. Connect the 3 inch line to a discharge from the pump and to the water jet adductor. Connect a 5 inch supply line to the pump intake valve and the water jet eductor. Care should be taken to ensure all connections are tight and secure. A rope may be attached to the handle and secured. A flotation device is always recommended when the static water source is deep or if there is a lot of vegetation in the water. Submerge the unit in 2 to 3 feet of standing water with the screen facing up. The engine should be placed into pump gear and truck prepared for pumping operations. The pump intake valve should be closed. Open the bleeder on the pump intake valve to allow any air in the hose to be vented. Open the tank to pump valve. Increase the engine pressure to 175 psi. Open the discharge supplying the water jet eductor and main discharge pressure at 175 psi. This is required to start suction flow back to the truck. As the three inch line is charged, the five inch line will immediately start to fill. Close the bleeder once water reaches it and slowly open the pump intake valve. The water supply is now established. Close the tank to pump valve. At this point, the truck's tank should be refilled. The truck's tank should always be kept full to allow the water supply to be reestablished if necessary. Once the tank is full, close the tank fill valve. Slowly open required discharge valves. Maintain the required pressure on the three inch line supplying the water jet eductor at all times. During the use of the water jet eductor, care should be taken not to exceed supply source availability. This will cause the supply line from the unit to collapse. If the supply line flow is exceeded and the line collapses, simply open the tank to pump valve and decrease the discharge flow until the supply line recovers. Once stabilized, close the tank to pump valve and top off the tank as soon as possible. After establishing a water supply from the first water jet eductor, lay out the second unit connecting the hose lines to the truck's officer side connections. Using the first unit as a supply, charge the second unit's 3 inch supply line. Once the second unit's 5 inch line has been bled free of air, slowly open its pump intake valve. Begin water supply operations by slowly opening the required discharge valves. Refer to your water jet eductor operation manual for additional information. 